Shalom. In case you haven't noticed, the Jewish prayer book is filled with prayers. Prayers in praise of God's beneficence and praise of God's divine qualities. Inevitably, a, a uh, a Jewish prayer begins with the words, Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam. Blessed are you, Eternal One, our God, ruler or sovereign of the universe. And then it goes on to speak of divine qualities, of God's kindness, of God's strength, etc. A question that comes to my mind is, does God really need all of these prayers? There's a collection of Midrashim, uh, that speaks of, or speaks of the difference between praising uh, uh, an earthly sovereign with God, who is the King of Kings. When we praise an earthly sovereign, uh, a king, a queen, an emperor, etc., uh, and, uh, our praises are usually far and, uh, and above any quality that that person, that earthly king or emperor or queen or whatever can live up to. In a, in a sense, our words of praise elevates, uh, elevate uh, an earthly sovereign. But the Midrash says that the opposite is true when we praise God. When we praise God, in a sense, we are diminishing God because there is no word, no phrase, no verbal expression that can, can contain the glory of God, God's power, God's kindness, God's patience. Uh, the words simply are not enough. And when we do praise God, we run the risk of diminishing God. That having been said, we still have all of these prayers that we utter to, to God. The question is, does God need these prayers? Maybe it is we who need uh, these prayers. There is a wonderful, there is a wonderful um, uh, Hasidic teaching on this week's Torah portion, Truma. Let me just read you the opening words of this week's Torah portion. But the Be'er Adonai El Moshe Lemor, the Eternal One spoke to Moses saying, Tell the Israelite people to bring me gifts. Truma, you shall accept gifts for me from every person whose heart is so moved. Truma means gifts. It's a generic term. At one time, it, uh, it uh, referred to the animal sacrifices that we brought to the temple in ancient Israel. There came a time when the temple was destroyed and we could no longer uh, make animal sacrifices to God. So our prayers became our truma, our, our offering to God. In Hebrew, we, we speak of prayers being the avodah shelter, offerings of the mouth, so to speak. Now, in this Hasidic teaching that was uh, uh, given to us by Shlomo Lutzker, who was a Hasidic master who lived in the latter part of the 18th century and the early part of the 19th century, um, he tells us uh, that, that God loves our prayers regardless of the fact that they, in a sense, diminish God. He compares our uttering of prayers to God to a child sitting on his or her parents or her father's lap. What does the child do? The little child, uh, the little girl or the little boy reaches up and grabs uh, their father's beard and pulls on the beard, pulling the father closer to them. Now, normally, a father would be offended. This would be an affront to his dignity of someone pulling on his beard. But is he offended when his child pulls on, a, pulls on his beard? Absolutely not. He's delighted to have his head pulled closer to his child. It gives him a chance to snuggle with the child, gives him a chance to, uh, to play with the child. And so it is 
according to Shlomo Lutzker, this uh, very wise Hasidic uh, master, the, that it, uh, the, uh, so it is with our prayers. In a sense, when we pray, we pull God down to our level a little bit. God doesn't mind. God accepts us in our limited capacity as human beings, and God cherishes and accepts so graciously our prayers. He goes on to play with the letters uh, 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 of Truma, and he changes them around a little bit, and he comes up with a word without adding or subtracting any of the letters, harama, which means to elevate, to lift up. Now, God needs no lifting up, but you and I do. And so when we pray, we just temporarily bring God down to our level, and God embraces us, and then God lifts us up to God's level. Well, I hope that you will read this week's Torah portion and come to your own conclusions. Shabbat Shalom.